Shalom Aleichem, welcome to Yerushalayim. Here, we are ready for Parshas Vayishlach. Chumash Bereshit has three mitzvos, very special mitzvos. But in this week's Parsha, we have the last one and we don't understand the connection. The mitzvah of Gida Nashe, that we cannot eat from the thigh of the animal. And it just doesn't make sense. Why is that one of the three mitzvos that is mentioned in Chumash Bereshit? If you make a calculation, 613 mitzvos to five Chumashim should be 122 mitzvos. And our Chumash has only three. So we understand that it's the Avos, it's the stories, it's where everything has started. It's our, it's our forefathers, it's our, it's our past and it's our future. As we say, Maise Avot Siman Labanim. But what is important about this Gid Why is it mentioned in this Chumash Bereshit? So I can understand the other two mitzvos, Pur Vu, which is so important, continuing the generation, continuing the world, having this world as alive and, 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 and as it is today. Bar Hashem, thank God, so many Am Yisrael is growing and growing and NCSY is doing such an amazing job as connecting them with through the Mitzvah of Puru, but connecting it not enough that, we also need the bris. We also need that they'll be connected to Torah, that they'll have substance, that they'll have something that puts them together, something that, that brings Am Yisrael together, and that's really the bris. But what is important about this Gid Anashe and why is it in our Parsha? So really the idea is that the Gid Anashe says the, the Sefer Chinuch brings a beautiful idea that it's coming to hint us, it's coming to let us know that even though that Yaakov went through a real battle with the Malach of Esav, Sarushal Esav, and he thought it might be all over and maybe he wouldn't be able to come back to Yerushalayim and maybe he wouldn't be able to come back to Eretz Yisrael and maybe he wouldn't be able to come back to his children and, and it would all be over. But no, even from the hardest most complicated spiritual battle that Yaakov have, the next morning the sun came out, HaKadosh Baruch Hu healed him, and the Geula came to Yaakov. And that is a promise to us, says the Sefer HaKinuch. It's not, it's a symbol for us, but it's a promise to us that we will return, that this is our home, that we will return here to Yerushalayim, that we will have Geula, that we will have Am Yisrael come together through organizations, through Chesed, through NCSY, through all these things, we will come together. 1967, Bar Hashem, Kadesh Baruch Hu returns us back to Yerushalayim. And at the eve of Tisha B'Av, of 1967, imagine the first Tisha B'Av in 19th, after we got the Koto. And my grandfather, Rav Arya Bina, walks into the old city and says, we need to start a yeshiva. He brings the groups of students. And in the opening speech of the yeshiva in the old city, the first yeshiva ever in the old city, returning back home, he said, God gave us the Koto. What are we going to give him back? And the message is, we're going to give him back Torah. We're going to give him back Am Yisrael, connecting Am Yisrael and Torah into the holiest place. And that is what Yerushalayim is. Yerushalayim is the connection between the heavens, the spiritual side of the world, and the most gorgeous view that you could see here, the most gorgeous homey feeling of Am Yisrael. And connecting the heavens and the earth, connecting the spirituality and the physical world, connecting our past and our future. That is what we do in Yerushalayim. And that's why just like Enaim is two eyes and Yadaim is two hands, Yerushalayim is two hands. To Yerushalayim, there's Yerushalayim of down here, what we see in front of us in the Yerushalayim of heavens. And Bezrat Hashem will be Zohar through all the chesed that we do and through the Kiruv and through the organizations that really take Am Yisrael and put us together. Thank you very much, NCSY, for putting this. And may we be Zohar to dance and be here in Yerushalayim, across of Holy of Holies and the Makkah Mikdash together for many more years.